the complete metabolism of one molecule of glucose through cellular respiration yields a significant amount of energy, primarily in the form of ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Here's a breakdown of how much ATP is produced in each stage of glucose metabolism. 1. Glycolysis. ATP produced, 4 ATP. ATP consumed, 2 ATP. Net ATP gain, 2 ATP. NADH produced, 2 NADH. Each NADH can yield about 2.5 ATP during oxidative phosphorylation, resulting in a total of 5 ATP. 2. Pyruvate oxidation. 2 pyruvate molecules per glucose. NADH produced, 2 NADH, 1 per pyruvate, yielding 5 ATP. 3. Krebs cycle, citric acid cycle, 2 acetyl-CoA per glucose, ATP produced, 2 ATP, 1 per acetyl-CoA, NADH produced, 6 NADH, yielding 15 ATP, FADH2 produced, 2 FADH2, yielding 3 ATP. 4. Oxidative phosphorylation, NADH yields, each NADH yields approximately 2.5 ATP, each FADH2 yields approximately 1.5 ATP. Total ATP yield from one glucose molecule. Combining the energy yields from each stage, the approximate total ATP production is glycolysis, 2 ATP net plus 5 ATP from 2 NADH equals 7 ATP, pyruvate oxidation, 5 ATP from 2 NADH, Krebs cycle, 2 ATP plus 15 ATP from 6 NADH plus 3 ATP from 2 FADH2 equals 20 ATP, total ATP yield 7 plus 5 plus 20 equals 32 ATP. In reality, the ATP yield can vary slightly due to inefficiencies in the electron transport chain and transport of NADH into the mitochondria. Therefore, the total is often estimated to be between 30 to 32 ATP per molecule of glucose.